welcome to this session so in this session we will talk about how to test the mediation effect in ms go to ms so include the data then view the list of variables so we have three variables performance which is dependent variable turnover intention which is mediator and AC effective commitment, which is independent variable. Let's first test the effect of independent variable on the dependent variable. So here is four indicators, here three indicators. Let's assign these indicators to the respective constructs. And then also label the main variable. So this is AC and this one is PL. Let us set up the cause relationship and add endogenous variable, this error term here. So now let's label them on other variables and then also run the test. View the results. So it is statistically significant. So effect of AC on the PR is statistically significant. So we can proceed further. Let's now include the mediator. And, uh, add three indicators here also need to rotate them then label these ones or assign the indicators load them d2 and d3 and label it also so this is pi then call the relationships and also since this endogenous variable also add an error term here and then go to plugins, name another variables. We can slightly make verification work and then go to view and analyze properties and, and out make some selections. The information you need. Then in bootstrapping also I need these two information. So then run it. So let's go to the results file and see if the effect of AC on PR is significant or not significant. If it's no longer significant, that would mean there's full mediation. If it's still significant, that would mean it is a partial mediation. And if TI's effect on PR is not significant, that would mean there is no mediating effect. See, so here is the so AC's effect on PR is statistically significant, and turnover intentions effect on PR is also statistically significant. So that means there is a partial mediation. In other words, we can say uh, AC has direct effect as well as an indirect effect on PR. Let's measure these two effects. So direct effect between two is 0.410 and whereas indirect effect is 0.196 and standardized indirect effect is 0.196. Let's see whether this indirect effect is statistically significant or not. So this is uh, p value is 0 0.001. So that means the indirect effect uh, of AC on the PR is statistically significant. Hence, we conclude that turnover intention significantly mediates between AC and PR. Thanks for watching.